Today on Texas Home Improvement, we're gonna change out a tank water heater for Renai tankless water heater. We're gonna go through all the steps so you know what to expect if you're thinking about going tankless. And I gotta tell you up front, I love tankless water heaters. I have one in my own house, and the main reason is only using energy when you're actually using hot water. And let's face it, most of the time, nobody's home. Why do you wanna keep using energy to keep water hot for when you come home 12 hours later? So let's get started with this project. All right, when you're changing out a water heater, one of the things you gotta keep in mind, you're actually supposed to be a licensed plumber. So I'm gonna introduce you to Chris Boggs. He's one of my licensed plumbers and he's gonna take care of this. And journeyman plumber, aren't you? Yes, sir. All right. So first step is gonna to be to hook up the drain line and drain the existing tank type water heater. Now this is a process you're gonna to wanna to get started early because it can easily take an hour and a half to drain this water heater. All right, so the water heater's empty, which means it's time to get that one out, and then you can start installing the tankless. Yes, sir. Now, one of the big considerations when going from a tank to tankless is the gas supply line. And you gotta have enough gas for a tankless to operate. So what's our specs here? You need 20, you can run up to 21 foot a half inch gas pipe. Okay. And we're, but this one we only have about a foot and then it's three quarter and the inch and a quarter main. So we have plenty of gas feed. And that's gonna be the critical part to making this change out inexpensive. A lot of people ask, uh, you know, is it, is it cost effective for me to go to tankless? Well, if you had to run 60 feet of three quarter inch line, chances are it's not cost effective for you. But on a short run like this, absolutely. Now, Chris, one of the other things is gonna be the venting. Are we gonna need to change out our venting here or is this vent gonna be adequate for the tankless water heater? We're gonna run two inch PVC and then we can correct, uh, connect the vent pipe directly to the, the metal that we have existing. Okay, so our penetration through the roof should be adequate then? Yes sir, because it has the cap, so all we need to do is put the two by three inch rubber boot on and the rest is good from there. All right, we'll get this project going. Try to go a little further. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right, you go ahead and go down. I got it. You can go down more. And it'll it'll grab on one of the steps. So we got the old tank water heater out of here and as you can see it really opens up a lot of space and if you had a closet for instance that had a tank type water heater in it you can gain a whole closet back in your house by going tankless first thing we got to do is get this brace put on and what that's for that gives us a place to mount the new tankless water heater i'm gonna move my finger out of the way There'll be a brace on the top and bottom, and then the tankless water heater will get hooked on and start hooking up the gas lines, the water lines, the vent lines, all the stuff to make it work properly. The first thing we would hook up would be the water especially with the CPVC because we need to have time for the glue to dry. And this is what we'll use to go from our CPVC pipe to the actual tank list with the valves.
Chris looks like another fine job here. Yes, sir. We got everything done. This is the where you get the air into the the intake. Yep. For the tankless, this is your exhaust. And we go down here. You have your hot water line with your service kit for when it's time for the annual maintenance. Okay. Same here. The TMP line for the pressure relief valve. So if something doesn't stop running, it discharges the water to prevent. Keep it from pressuring up. Yes. Same thing, main cold line with the, also with the shutoff valve, an extra one with the service kit. And the main shutoff line to work on everything. And then your gas is coming in from the back, tying in right here. And then of course, the one thing you always gotta keep in mind, you need power. You know, it's, it's not just gonna run off gas alone. You gotta have a little electric for the ignition switch and to control the, basically the motherboard on it because it does have a computer on board these tankless water heaters. But at this point, this house is rigged out for endless hot water supply. And I can tell you, I have personally filled my, the hot tub at my house using my tankless water heater and been able to jump in right after I got it filled. So they do supply endless hot water. Yes, sir, I think this job is wrapped up. Now this particular one is not just a tankless water heater, but it, uh, you know, we, you're able to use the PVC vent, which means it's a condensation. Tankless water heater, yes. Right, so. The, the exhaust is cooled off before it exits, but, so you don't need the, the double wall vent pipe. It can vent solely on PVC. And that's also a lot more energy efficient than using the one that's venting all the hot air, air out. Need more videos like this? Go to THIPro.com.